culture and civilization of ancient Kemet has preserved records of the oldest known religious ideas, doctrines, and texts in the world. Created by our Kemetic Black ancestors, these ancient texts contain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the divine Amsu Heru and of human immortality in the kingdom of the immortals. Amsu Heru is one's own human spirit soul as an immortal spark of the miraculous, supreme, and creative being in Tur, the supreme intelligence and memory of the all. In this package, there are 12 sacred formulas created for the resurrection of Amsu Heru. Seven of these formulas were written thousands of years ago by our Kemetic forefathers in anticipation of these dreadful days. And two are adaptations from the Book of Light. My twin brother, Tahaka Amun Ra, Heru Ankapata, and I were divinely inspired to write four of the sacred formulas and create music befitting this great inspiration. Along with these seven prescriptions are 12 lessons that when properly ingested will help to accelerate your divine mind into always becoming Amsu Heru. Transformation. Let us break this word down. The abbreviation of the word trans suggests movement, progress. The word form means to give shape, structure, to format or arrange. The final part of this power word, transformation, is the suffix I-O-N, meaning an act, process, or state, or condition. This is the spell form in the word transformation. And its denotative meaning is one, to change in structure, appearance, or character. Synonym, transmute, transfigure, transmography. Two, to exalt, glorify. Throughout the Holy Bible, the act of transfiguration is well documented from Moses in the Old Testament to Jesus in the New Testament. The science of transfiguration has been scribed and practiced amongst the ancient Kemetic priests and priestesses and is still performed throughout various parts of modern Africa. Sometimes the ritual is called divination, which is the art or practice of using omens, the omen or hidden magical powers to foretell the future. The intuitive perception bestowed on a diviner is a result of an act of transformation. Knowing the esoteric name of the enabler and summoning his or her aid, using himself as the medium. Ceremonial transmography is the ancient art of invoking and transmuting forces from a scientific application by a certain formula. The medium enveloped in sanctified vestments could by power vested in certain words and symbols control the invisible inhabitants of the elements and of the astral world. Roman Catholic priests perform acts of exorcism. Exorcism is the expulsion or the attempted expulsion of an evil spirit from a person or a place. Unfortunately, these spiritual sciences have gotten a bad rap due to charlatans and misguided minds adopting the art form and indiscriminately misusing the force for their own selfish gains. It is a known fact that the transcendentalism of the Quibalis is founded upon the ancient and magic formulas of King Solomon. However, the formulas of the Pertin Heru predates King Solomon's formulas by thousands of years. Creativity is the science of inventiveness and imagination. As creative beings made in the image and likeness of God, we must not fear exploring our creative divinity. Judaic scribes, 
took the canvas laid out by our comedic forefathers and like a musician or a magician emulates from one song to another. Solomon used formulas from the Pert and Haru that ultimately became the template for the Kobala. Now our Assar minds have commenced in the development of special formulas produced specifically for the transformation and the salvation of the black mind living in this day and time. Sacred formula number four, transforming into the A rising one. This holy incantation must be recited once a day. It is the morning sunrise supplication and will become a part of the initiate's being. The essential function of this formula is to tune up the mind for the coming of the Asar. Each power word must be fully comprehended. The connotative, the denotative, and the spiritual meaning must be mastered by the new mind. Literally break each power word down and unlock their secrets, then feed on its essence. Sacred formula number four. Transforming into the A rising one. The prayer of the Banu. I came into being from unformed matter. I created myself in the image of the God Kephara, the arising one. I grow in form from the light and I have resurrected what was hidden. I clad myself as a tortoise. I am formed from the atoms of all the gods. I am the yesterday, the now, and the all that shall remain. I am the light in the royal symbol that now exists in the West, the mighty one who illuminates the nations with my black body. I am God in the image of a star and divine intelligence dwelleth within my midst. With the sacred planets in their heavenly orbits and the holy spirits of the ancient ones in Anu, I sail among them, and I am crowned holy amongst the gods. I am mighty. I appear to you to reveal my invaluable The Asa mind. I am the original mind of the planet, born out of triple darkness, black because I commanded. I fell into hell so that I could learn and see all the beauty and all the evil deep down inside of me. Spiritual culture is a system that methodically leads man's consciousness to the higher part of his being wherein dwells the faculties that contain the essence of God's attributes. The acquirement of wisdom, the intuitive knowledge that frees man from error and the spiritual power to achieve his will. In the tradition of ancient Kemet, man's salvation can only be achieved by the elevation of his consciousness to the higher part of his being and the increase of his spiritual power that he may be free of limitations of the physical body. Ignorance and impotence is the father and mother respectively of all evils in the world. Journey is the key to salvation. Sacred formula number six, transforming into the awesome mind. This holy incantation is extremely powerful when known verbatim. It must be recited immediately after walking out of your house and entering into the outside world. This is also a protection formula 
and will become a part of the initiate's being. Each power word must be fully comprehended. The connotative, the denotative, and the spiritual meaning must be mastered by the new mind. Literally, break each power word down and unlock their secrets. Then feed on its essence. Divine thought, uh. the Asar mind. 